those eels. They find habitats in our tidal waters in the marshes, but those eels also work their way up into every nook and cranny of the Delaware watershed and other similar streams nearby. We have found eels over 400 miles from the Atlantic Ocean in the very headwaters of the Catskill Mountains in incredible abundance. But those same eels are being prevented from getting to some of our tributaries, and in particular the Schuylkill River uh, eel numbers have been collapsing over the last 50 years. There they go. Yeah, the these guys age. dominate the like ecology. They're the omnivores. They'll eat anything and everything and in the stream. They they'll eat fish yeah, eggs. They uh, they'll eat other yeah. insects and vertebrates, the food they for trout. They are, are almost a dead more. end, particularly these really large crayfish um, become inaccessible to any of the other fish or animals living in the aquatic environment, right? And so, so all the energy is held there. So, to step back at a broader picture, this is really uh, a unique opportunity, and I'm not sure um, you know, I'm even thinking about the ramifications. There has not been an attempt in Pennsylvania to eradicate exotic crayfish. There have been very few worldwide. I'm not sure if there's ever been one in flowing waters. So this is truly a landmark day. Over the last 50 years or so, the American eel has faltered in the Schuylkill River watershed, including here in the Pickering. At this point, we don't know why so few American eels have returned to the Schuylkill River and its tributaries each year, um, while at the very same time, we have greater and stronger eel numbers in other parts of the Delaware River watershed. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network and our partners are trying to figure this out and figure out what we need to do to support a healthy return of the American eel to the Schuylkill River and to its tributaries.